I'd like to welcome you all back to Water Your Soil. Before I get in this video, I ask that you all subscribe to my channel. If you're listening right now, it takes seconds. Hit the subscribe button and subscribe, especially if you're a return viewer. Um, I can, I, I'm not the type, I'm not gonna keep asking people to like my videos. If you don't like it, put a thumbs down, it's whatever. But there's a such thing as the YouTube algorithm. And the algorithm doesn't just go on views. The algorithm also goes on likes and things of that nature. But anyways, let's get into this video. How many credit cards should you have? Now, that's a subjective question. I always tell people, there's not a specific number of cards that you should have. The question should be, how many cards can you afford? You know, because the way how I teach people to uh, use their credit cards is whatever you spend, you pay it off the next month. So my question to you is, how many credit cards can you afford to use on a monthly basis and pay off the statement balance of that card and whatever you spent the next month? That's my question to you, because if you cannot afford to pay off the statement balance on each card, let's say you have five cards, five credit cards, right? But you can't afford to pay off the statement balance on those five cards every month. Then five cards is probably too much for you. Maybe you need to go down to three cards or two cards. See, this question is pretty interesting because it's, it gets asked often. It gets asked. People ask me this question often, like how many credit cards should I have? And the question is, the answer is always gonna be, it depends on how many credit cards you can handle and how many you can manage. There, are, There's no number that I can give you. You know, you have people who are who are good at managing accounts and keeping up to date and with their cards and their due dates and things of that nature. So they can have as many cards as they want to. They're organized. But some people are not that organized, nor do they have enough income in order to pay off the balances every month. So if you get to the point where you have so many cards where you can't afford to pay off the balances every month, you probably have too many cards. You don't want to create a big pit of uh, consumer debt. You don't want to do that. Number one, it's not going to help your credit score. Number two, it's not going to help you in terms of having free money around and emergency money and, you know, start building towards wealth or things of that nature. You always want to have money around and building up consumer debt does not help with that and this is why i tell people to pay off their statement balance every month meaning whatever you spend the previous month you pay it off the next month but you can't do those things if you don't pay off your statement balance and you can't pay off your statement balance if you have too many cards see that's the problem like your ego tells you that you should have whatever credit card is available to you these financial institutions, especially if your credit is good, they're going to offer you as many cards as you want to. You're approved, you're approved, you're approved, you're approved. However, you have to, before you decide to get these cards and these five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards, you have to ask yourself, can I really afford these cards? And if I spend heavy on them every month, can I afford to pay them off on time? And can I afford to pay the balance, the statement balance off every month? Because I'll tell you what some people do. Here's what some people do. Some people get credit cards. They get maybe five plus credit cards, more than five credit cards. And what they do is they'll spend money on each of the credit cards and they'll roll over the balances. So those cards after that one year that you normally get, where you don't have any interest you know those cards they start collecting interest every month and they just constantly roll them over and roll over the interest and roll it over rolling over the balance to eventually they have a high amount of consumer debt and this is why you have people that have five thousand dollars in credit card debt ten thousand dollars in credit card debt fifteen thousand dollars in credit card debt twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt and uh, beyond and that shouldn't be you shouldn't have that you should never be in those high amounts of credit card debts and yes five thousand dollars of credit card debt 
is high because you shouldn't be using your card like that without paying off your balances. Now, some people will debate me and say, well, you shouldn't have to pay off the balances. Hey, to each his own. So if you just want to have a card and be able to roll over balances, do as you please. But if you're trying to have the best outcome with your credit score, the best credit score possible, it is very smart and very wise to pay off your statement balance every month. This will help you. I speak from experience. Of course, you can do the rollover and thing of that nature, but you're not going to get the best outcome or have the best outcome for your credit score. And over here on this channel, Water Your Soil is about having the best outcome for your credit score. And honestly, when it comes back to the original question of this video, you have to ask yourself, answer that question for yourself. How many credit cards can I afford to have? How many credit cards can I manage? And remember, their specific separate due dates. How many credit cards can I get the most out of? When it comes to, you know, spending a certain money to get the best, best out of it as far as rewards and points and cash back and things of that nature. It's a lot that goes into the decision. Well, that should go into the decision of what kind of credit cards and how many credit cards you should have. So you have to ask yourself because that question is strictly subjective. It varies from person to person. I can't tell a specific person how many they should have without knowing their circumstances. I have to know whether or not you have good income, whether or not you're good at maintaining and being organized so you'll know when you have a due date. I have to know those things and I can't speak to every person listening to this video individually. That's just not possible. So you have to ask your qu yourself those questions. Like those questions need to be answered by you. Can you yourself afford to pay um, multiple cards every single month? If you can, how many cards can you afford to do that? How much money do you wanna spend on those cards? You have to ask yourself that as well. You have to, it, I would figure that it would be very smart to set a spending limit on each one of those cards per month. That way you'll be up to date and you'll be able to pay them off and pay off the statement balance every month. Do not put yourself in a hole by spending and spending and spending and getting a new credit card and spending on those because that debt catches up to you. But anyways, I would like to thank you all for stopping by. Um, as I always say, I'm going to keep these videos going. This is a new channel. I appreciate you all for stopping by. I really do. I hope these videos are helping you out and you're getting the most out of them. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. If you appreciate my videos, be sure to subscribe. I thank you all for watching.